stuff the tailbone seemed to be bothering you on, on different falls. Can you just describe kind of what you were going through physically tonight? Uh, yeah, I knew it was going to be uh, interesting um, how you can't really simulate that in, you know, the practice or workouts and stuff. So it wasn't fun, but got through it and was able to keep, uh, you know, keep warm and deal with the pain and just play. So it'd be something to manage in the near future, but uh, it'll continue to heal as I, as I get some more time. Have they told you or, or is there like a timeline you expect for it to not be bothering you on falls? Or? Nah, because it's such an unorthodox type of fall um, landing on that stair like I did that uh, probably not anytime soon, but I'll be, I should be, you know, good to keep playing. Steph, what changes for you the most because of the injury? Just dealing with pain, that's it. Um, try to turn it off and just focus on the game. The The charge I took was probably, it was a good play and I try to brace myself. That's the one that you don't want to second guess moves or decisions that you know on either end of the floor because you're trying to avoid pain. It, um, you kind of just have to deal with it. So that's uh, that was my mindset coming back. Steph, we saw you uh, pretty heavily padded up coming out at halftime, uh, warming up and whatnot. Can you take us through some of the um, the treatments that you get during the game uh, for this tailbone injury? Those are just hot packs just to try to stay warm. Um, and you see a lot of guys' knees, quads, me, my tailbone, backs, everybody's got different kind of, um, you know, injuries or little nicks that they're dealing with, but um, you just try to stay warm, get uh, get some soft treat soft tissue treatment on it at halftime just to relieve some of the tension. And really, if, if you're going to play, you got to just play and then deal with it afterwards. Steph, Kylan with Cron 4, how good did it feel just to get back on track with a win tonight? And did you feel like there was a different energy amongst the guys in the last couple of games where you've mentioned people kind of seem to get deflated a little bit? It was great. Uh, I mean, I hate missing games. And <clears throat> I know that, uh, you know, the last four haven't really gone you know, our way in terms of execution and energy. And, and again, we, you know, we just wanted to, get back to the basketball we're, we're capable of playing. Chicago was a, a good test, uh, you know. I don't, I don't know where they are in the standings, but, and they obviously brought over Vucevic, but they're a talented, tough team that plays really hard. So defensively, we had to, you know, weather the storm in the first half, because uh, they were making shots and putting some pressure on us, but we were engaged and, and uh, you know, you can see even Draymond, uh, called logo green now he might have a new nickname but I, the the way he was pushing the ball the way he was impacting on on, on the defense van like he always does you know knocking down threes um kelly was unreal in terms of crashing the glass those hustle plays that really helped us um you know wigs made some big shots bays off the bench everybody really contributed um and even wise uh he played a very purposeful, intentional, physical game that he showed his presence. So it was awesome to, to see everybody, you know, go out and do what they're supposed to do, play with high energy, and then the results pay off at the end. Steph, you talk about crashing the glass. There, there was a moment there uh, midway through the third quarter where James was really fighting for a rebound, kind of tapped it back to you. and kind of gave him like a, almost a nod of approval. Um, can you, what, what was that? And um, you mentioned the energy. Um, how, how do you think his body language energy has been as of late? I mean, it's, it's tough for a rookie, especially in this during this season um, and all that he's kind of been through with, with uh, health and safety protocols and, you know, his wrist injury he's never really gotten good momentum. And then, you know, early in the season, he wasn't, uh, wasn't playing as much. So 
his confidence has suffered a little bit because of that. And I think a big part of what we're trying to do and what he's trying to do is not is to fall in love with the process of how he's going to get better and how he's going to, you know, impact games now and in the future and not so much worry about the the end results. And that's hard to do because we're all sometimes results driven. Um, and you can kind of ride that emotional roller coaster. But for him, that's why I want to compliment him tonight because, you know, he had 12 and five and, you know, four fouls and four blocks. But I feel like that was one of his better games of the year in terms of what he was trying to do on the floor and his, his aggressiveness and his energy and um, his kind of instincts were coming out. So that rebound was just him being physical and trying to go after the ball and, you know, claiming it. And that for me is, is a good sign of what he's, you know, how he's going to help us now. And, and we need some more of that. Steph, coming into this game, um, your mindset, was your mindset set on coming out being very aggressive or were you just thinking of staying in the flow of things and seeing how things go? It was being aggressive and especially knowing how Chicago is probably going to guard with their with their lineup. Um, there's going to be a lot more pick and rolls. <clears throat> and, and obviously with me and James and Draymond at the top trying to develop, you know, get our chemistry back there. And that was a good set for us. And then, you know, the rest of it was just kind of taking the game as it comes. Um, it was nice to have. I missed the first layup and I got a good backdoor cut pass from Draymond. I made my next my next shot. So it was nice to just, um, you know, feel that rhythm from the from the, from the get go and and take advantage of it. Stephen, when you watch James at age nineteen and. If you ever think back to when you were 19 and what would you would do, what would you be doing and, and consider what he's doing and how good it is? No, oh, 1000%. I was searching for frat parties at Davidson um, right about now. We would just lost a Buffalo in the, or sorry, not lost a Maryland in Buffalo and so a tournament. And around this time, 2007, I was doing a lot of different things. So this is a, uh, Amazing opportunity, obviously, is a big responsibility. This is the beginning of a long, long career for him. And um, he's got to just embrace the process of, you know, what it means to establish yourself as an NBA player. Does that make it easier for you guys as veterans to live through the downs that come with the ups? For sure. It's a part of the, it's part of the journey. Um, I think... I mean, even looking back to my rookie year, the expectations weren't very high. We were, you know, three years removed from like the We Believe situation and we won like 20 something games. So it was kind of a different, you know, goal uh, throughout the season. And he's throwing it to one where, you know, you expected to win and, you know, there's that championship uh, aroma still around. And there's, there's always um, comparisons to, you know, other rookies at the top of the um, top of the list. So there's a lot thrown at him and he's handling it well. And I, the fact that he shows his emotion like he does, it means he cares. You just have to be able to kind of harness it a little bit, you know, to be more productive out there. Steph, you brought up the uh, Believe team right there briefly, uh, Baron Davis. I don't know if you've seen what he said about the Believe team would have beat, you know, the, the team with you, Clay, Draymond, and KD in, in seven. Well, if if that was simulated, <laughs> how do you think that would go? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I expect nothing less from BD. That's the, the uber confidence right there. I, I love it. That's one of the ones I wish we could uh, actually make happen, but BD was nice though. Don't get me wrong. BD was nice, but I don't know if he, uh, he probably wouldn't be a good GM if he thinks that. <laughs>